Welcome, my friends, to a Star Wars build video. This is going to be the Ambush on Mandalore Battle Pack. So um, it only has 109 pieces, so it should be fairly quick. So what I'll do is I'll open this up. We'll give you a quick preview of the opening process. This is available now for $20. Uh, probably be some good sales heading into the holiday for these Battle Packs. Even if you can get 20% off, amazing $18 these are a great deal right um, I mean these used to be fifth more like 15 dollars uh, <laughs> and now are upwards of $20 but the quality of figure in my opinion you know some people could argue like they could be better you know the quality could, could be better in general with some of the detailing and the accuracy but I I think this is phenomenal to get these uh, characters and then you have really solid parts overall so i mean i i get it lego is definitely getting more expensive i mean everything's getting more expensive my coffee is double the price at this point so uh looks like you do get some pretty sizable plates so from a parts value this one looks all scuffed up that's kind of crazy so from a parts value you're already getting some uh some decent parts this is to kind of set the flooring you get uh, oh i've got to scan this Make sure to scan it to get your points, which goes right into your account so you can get rewards. And then it comes with uh, two bags. So let us let me sort this out, and then we'll get cracking to uh, do the build. Okay, I've got it all organized up for the sake of time, and let's uh, get building. And uh, wow, you know, I just want to make sure you have like an understanding. A lot of the parts are small that come with it within that 109 piece count. That, that's like micro fighter <laughs> so i mean micro fighters usually have anywhere from 90 to about 109 ish five hundred and five hundred and six is kind of the max for those and those are ten dollars so a lot of cash <laughs> a lot of dollars that are being go, going towards these figures so let's get these built um and there's a there's actually two different builds so if this is set up, you know, battle packs are kind of army building. And uh, well, let me make sure I'm matching the torsos. They are slightly different. So the one, okay, so this this one goes here. And uh, are the pants the same? Okay, so this one, there is a, <laughs> it is a little challenging with the pants. Where are my pants? Silver goes this way. Um, you are putting your faith in these figures that you really want them to army build if you're getting multiple of these. Uh, you do use the black, these are all unidentified faces, which you could, you know, go ahead and get, get your own faces and create your own army. Uh, really cool jetpacks. It's probably really hard to see, but you get the typical Mandalorian jetpack. You put on the black head. And uh, and then there are two different helmet types. This one is the Night Owl, and then there's the Mandalorian Warrior. Um, wow, this is I I think this could be one of the best figures in any battle. One of the of most of the battle packs that are out there. This is the Night Owl Warrior, I believe, is what it's called. Um. Yeah, so it's Mandalorian Night Owl, and then there's Mandalorian Warrior. So the Night Owl is part of uh, Bo-Katan's group. She runs the Night Owls. So this is an awesome, awesome, awesome uh, get. I just, I, I think the value on this is just going to be astronomical. The Mandalorian Warriors are, are valuable by themselves, but, I, you know, I don't know if they will carry. You know massive value long term of course for really any of these figures since they are massable lead themselves into a market where you can do good sync good things so if you can get like 20 30 percent off on this set lego's making making a ton of money guaranteed but then you are also you have some potential for resale to kind of recoup you know and build your army I and mean, we got to do what we got to do to build our armies you know i i don't really do much reselling but this is a set 
you could do some damage. Actually, what would be cool is to just buy buy a ton of these and just essentially wait for this figure to get to be like 10 bucks. <laughs> sell off the figure and then you've got just mat you could sell the parts in bulk you could do all sorts of stuff um whatever you whatever you your heart desires you can do okay and then this the commando imperial commando which are really cool this is a super cool ad by star wars kind of a money grab <laughs> but you got an awesome little jetpack which, oh, okay, they do have, there are some pieces that go into this. There we go. So there's the, the back look, which I'll do a full review on this shortly, short order. I usually like to release the review at around a week, a week after building. Oh, just, that is, that's pretty special. It's a little, the, the black is a little shiny. Which was maybe a more of a matte color, but that's a pretty awesome trooper. These are really neat, man. Uh, and I and I and this set is built to build on the other the Mandalorian fight scene that has uh, um, the uh, oh, I forget the bad guy's name already. Why am I forgetting? I'm losing my mind. There we go. Another commander down. <clears throat> there isn't arm printing. There is really nice leg printing. Great torso. And just a pretty cool helmet the it does the black just doesn't vibe i don't know i wish it was maybe a little bit more of a matte color but i see what they did because there's some really nice detailing in the breathing apparatus so that's pretty nice um there we go i was i the the name was like it's uh it's gonna bother me now that i don't remember the the name of the dude it's not gar saxon it's not grief cargo Moff Gideon, jeez, come on. Can't believe I couldn't remember his name, Moff Gideon. Yeah, so there's a Moff Gideon set that uh, uh, has him. And uh, and he's in his full, like, battle armor. And, I mean, it's a little, it's a little bit more expensive, so... I think we're building a gun... Gotta have your, this is the, the play value. Gotta have a shooter. Pew, pew, pew. Oh, shoot. I didn't, you're supposed to put the trigger in first. Duh. Oh, man. We can shoot these guys down part of the fight scene get it going and then it has a symbol that you do not shoot your eye out don't shoot your eye out kid okay now we're building a I think there's like a casing here that we're gonna build let's uh we're gonna try to speed things along just a bit let me know in the comments uh how much you like the Mandalorian are you excited for season four coming up is that is that where we're at guys season four ladies and gentlemen is that where we're at season four i think there'll be a movie uh i th think that disney it sounds i hear that disney is moving away from the those tv series and moving to a little bit of a, a situation where they do more movies uh, I don't know if it's just because you can advertise them a little bit more. Okay, so we've got... This is a box to collect thermo detonators. So let's put our thermo detonators in there. They give you two printed ones. I uh, can't get them to fit. Get in there. Okay, there we go. Box of thermo de detonators. That's done. We got two little mini builds this is almost like an advent calendar uh if you will so 
here we go now we get the, we're starting to use the plates for the scene that we're building um, what I, I do love getting these parts so if you uh, were to do a parts draft that would be pretty pretty sweet way to go um, let's see this is going here and then it's a pretty cool technique to add like a part at the end of these slopes just like that and this will mean that you can kind of connect these are good for connecting up to other things yeah this is kind of the, the key to rock work is varying you know varying things up a little bit this is pretty cool this is good technique good learnings here um so i i need to learn how to do rock work as much as possible i've got a lot of a lot of the builds that i'm doing are in rocky terrain so it definitely helps okay so we got more rock work here missing oh here it is let's go here and then always when you cap it off gives it a little extra touch you think about it that's three three colors you get the dark tan you get the dark gray and then you got the the light gray all in one shot there uh, oh, okay it looks like they're having you cap off a bunch of these so I haven't really been keeping up much on like any sort of season four news for Mandalorian, but uh, but I will say I am pumped about getting sets for the from season three. I think yeah. Uh, okay, let's go this way. You know, this is like part of an entrance. These are really good to build entrances. We're going to do it again. And then go. So we are on step, step number 12. So we're moving along. 109 pieces. This is, you know, still a little bit of work. It feels, feels like more work. Uh, here we go. Oh, this is going to extend things out even further. It's kind of a good technique to kind of like keep layering. It's a pretty cool way to do things. Oh, this makes it even more. All right. So I, I see how this is going to go. Oops. There we go. Oh, this is this is a nice. These dark tan pieces are amazing. They're exciting adds to the collection, especially if I don't keep, you know, if you don't keep this built. Um, that's pretty uh, pretty awesome. Awesome to have. Let's see, we get one of these, one of these. This goes here. And okay, so. Sorry for the dead space, but I'm um, uh, got to concentrate. Here we go. Here, here's where we're at so far. So we're almost to number 20. 
and it looks like if they're just going to keep it pretty minimalist kind of finish it off it's a scene and it's really all about your the characters are going to be front and center so this is coming out like this There's a little placement here Go here. I mean, who knows? You could probably change the the look of this, and it still and it would be uh, wouldn't matter. Well, that's that's pretty neat. And this we'll cap it off here. Oh, it's pretty neat how those parts can just kind of almost creates like a ramp. Or like a a natural entrance um, and uh, who knows what is next Oh, this is oh this is pretty cool this is the there's a feature and this is a really neat part I've seen these parts before but I don't know if I've seen it in this format where it's got that curve and now this can create like a really neat action scene so I think this is really built uh, for that jetpack action scene um, they do have it on this um, that looks really unique I mean that's pr that's pretty neat it's too bad they don't give you like two of these you can kind of build that in but essentially looks like we've got a ball bearing oh wow so you can kind of connect somebody up let's call it the night owl and uh, oh I see Oh, look at that. So, so now the, the character can fly around and attack its adversary. The other night owl's hiding, let's say, in the entrance as the troopers approach. They've got their, their cannons. They, the night owl fly out of nowhere and get them. Here we go. They've got their thermal detonators back here. And a lot of extra extra parts. So that's great. Um, and uh, yeah. This is really solid. Oh, I think there was supposed to be one more. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, this gets clipped on the back. This is extra weaponry. That's kind of nice. full rock there we go awesome awesome little build the uh, 
the fight for Mandalore is uh, is on. The ambush on Mandalore battle pack in a Lego store near you, and be watching for the full review. I'm going to go over this, but usually those go pr- uh, pretty quick, so stay tuned for that, and we'll catch you on the next Star Wars build.